Hey guys, by request, we're gonna take a look at my air over hydraulic tube bender. Uh, Kendall and I built this bender whenever I started on the rally car project. Uh, I decided that I wanted to build my own roll cage and needed to bend tube myself. Once I realized how expensive tube benders were, I started searching around online for other people who had built their own tube benders, what they had used to build them, if there were any plans out there, and uh, happened upon GotTrikes.com. GotTrikes.com had a set of plans for uh, under 20 bucks and it, and it laid out everything pretty solid. I could have done the work myself, but I decided that uh, this fine gentleman had, had done all the CAD work and all the measurements and had the bill materials perfectly laid out uh, in PDF form. So I was able to print out all these drawings, uh, go up to the local steel supply shop, get all of my stock, and uh, start cutting it out per the design. Um, the design calls for a Harbor Freight Air Over Hydraulic Ram uh, that comes in around 75 bucks. And uh, the bender itself uses uh, Pro Tools 105 series dies. So naturally I purchased one uh, 1.75 inch, six inch centerline radius Pro Tools die, which is a standard for roll cage building. I, I think the die came in after shipping just under $500 and uh, after a few little odds and ends and hardware from uh, McMaster car, some, some pins and, and what have you, uh, I think in about three evenings and maybe a, a, a weekend, Kendall and I were able to get this all fabricated and put together. I think, I think all told, uh, have about $600 or so in the bender itself and maybe a, a solid eight hours worth of work. Um, it has been super accurate and really reliable for a person like myself and my friends who've helped me build the first roll cage any of us had ever done. We were able to consistently get within a degree or so on a bend. Uh, this two bender springs back about two degrees or so, but I use uh, this Harb Freight digital angle gauge on the tube itself as I bend it. I uh, zero it when I start, just in case the floor is not level or something's in inconsistent. And then I measure the, uh, the output uh, pre and post spring back, you know, loaded and unloaded to figure out just what angle that bend was at. So it's been super robust and really helpful. Um, it is insanely strong. I think we use close to a, a quarter inch thick two inch square tube, which is just, seems like complete overkill, but I've never seen the unit yield at all and I don't really think it ever would. I think we would max out the capability of the, uh, the RAM before anything else would fail. So if you guys are uh, looking to start bending some tube, but you don't want to spend too much money or on a, a, an actual fancy hydraulic RAM or, or something like that, and, and you don't want to get the cheapo Harbor Freight uh, a floor bender that uh, kind of has a tendency to kink your your tube, uh, I would definitely suggest uh, going to gottrikes.com, taking a look at the drawings there, and uh, uh, sending that guy a couple bucks uh, uh, on behalf of, of what he put together. Um, like I said, I can't take all the credit for it, but uh, it, it definitely came out awesome. Had to paint it in Harbor Freight orange just to fool a couple people and uh, I couldn't be happier with it. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you have any other questions uh, or you have any other uh, uh, tips you wanna see on Just the Tip.